Hey everybody, thank you for joining me on my review of my Cub Cadet Ultima ZT1 42 inch zero turn mower. Full disclosure, I am not sponsored by anyone. This mower was purchased by me from Pocket. There's no sponsorship involved whatsoever. I purchased it from a major retailer and that's the extent of it. Um, so the review I'm gonna give you is a pretty clear and concise review. I'm going to tell you the pros and cons of it, what I like, what I don't like. So thank you for joining me. Uh, as always, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Um, please let me know in your comments. So let's get started. let me introduce you to my Cub Cadet Ultima ZT1 42 inch zero turn mower. Now the reason I chose the Cub Cadet was after looking at the reviews, looking online, trying to find a zero turn that was going to match up for my needs. I have just over an acre of property and I needed something that was going to be able to mow my yard quickly and efficiently. Uh, I'm, I'm coming from 12 years of a craftsman standard garden tractor setup. I wanted something that was going to give me a little bit more agility, able to get around trees and obstacles within the yard. And I knew that a zero turn was the way to go. Plus, it's a zero turn. So when I was looking around, the things that I wanted to check out were important to me was I needed something that had a standing history as being a good company that produced a quality product. And it came down to price was a major factor in it yeah i could have went with some of the other manufacturers but for the same size it was going to cost me considerably more to go with their model as compared to the cub cadet or the john deere uh, and it came down to either a cub cadet or a john deere uh, and the deciding factor on that was is that john deere was almost impossible to find in the same class and then when i looked at things certain things really stood out to me on the Cub Cadet as compared to the John Deere. One of those being that it's made of a continuous two by two inch square steel welded frame. The John Deere just didn't seem to be as beefy when it came to that. The other matter was the fact that the John Deere didn't have, it didn't match in the horsepower range and it seemed to have quite a few more negative reviews when I was looking it up. And I've heard the, the complaints and the reviews of other people saying that their Cub Cadet is a horrible vibrating mess. I, I haven't experienced that. So let's go over a few of the points of this zero turn mower and then I'm going to jump on it and show you just how quickly and agilely it moves. Now something I really like about the Cub Cadet was the fact that for the parking brake system, it's integrated right into the control handles. So when the handles are in the operation position, the parking brake is off. But when you come to a stop, fold the handles out and it integrates the parking brake, stopping it and holding it in place. It has an electric start. Now to start it, you're gonna take the throttle, move it all the way to the choke position and you have to make sure that the handles are in the outward position and then you're gonna start it. Once it's warmed up, and like right now, it's in the 70s, so 
it's already warmed up. So once it gets started, the big thing is, is that you move it back into the fast speed and then go from there. Uh, it's recommended that you keep it in the fast speed when you're operating. And that's straight from the factory and all the other reviews that I've seen about it was that you keep it in that setting. Now to operate the mower deck, it's a simple push-pull. Pull outward and it operates the mower deck. Mower deck gets it running. When you're done, simply push it in, mower deck disengages. Very simple operation. Uh, and shutting it off is just as easy as starting it. You're literally, I like to push it down to lowest setting on the throttle and then turn it to off. Uh, another one of the things that I said I really liked about this as compared to the others was the fact that it had the dual LED headlights. The others I didn't see and pretty much when I was looking at the other models I was deciding what kind of LED headlights I could get for them to make them operate the way I wanted them to. Uh, with the 725cc Kohler engine which is actually a KT725 it's a 22 horsepower engine and operating speeds in forward are 7 miles an hour, reverse are 3.5. Uh, like most of the other models out there on the market, it will cut in both forward and reverse. And I'm really happy about that because coming from my Craftsman uh, garden tractor, the minute that you put it in reverse, it automatically disengaged the mower, the mower deck on it. Uh, weighs about 500 pounds and I can guarantee you it weighs around that much because uh, when we got it back we didn't have ramps uh, so my buddy and I both had to just grab a side lift her off and pull her out of the truck and set her on the ground. Uh, what was really nice was as compared to the John Deere models that are out there and some of the other models that I saw when you go to the, the store and I went to one of the big franchise one of the big chain stores and uh, that was simply because the price range. I wanted to buy local. The problem was is I couldn't get any of the local dealers to call me back. I emailed them and I called and left messages and got no calls back. Finally I got through to one of the local dealers that's a small locally owned dealership. I told them I'm looking for either the John Deere model or I'm looking for the Cub Cadet Ultima ZT142. The response I got was <laughs> good luck with that. Uh, so as you can see it wasn't exactly the easiest thing trying to get my money to local businesses which I really wanted to I was willing to pay two three hundred dollars more to stay local than go to a big chain just couldn't get them to take my money so uh, some of the reviews that I've heard are uh, complaints that people have are that the mower deck has really heavy vibration uh, and I've got to say that coming from the the craftsman uh, garden tractor that whole thing shook so riding on this is amazing compared to that the vibration level is extremely low from what I found and I'm not discounting anyone that says that their model has the heavy vibration not whatsoever I'm not saying that they're lying I'm not saying that it's not true but the fact is is that mine just doesn't show that uh, something else that I really uh, that I, I contest is is that I had a lot of people saying that they had trouble operating them on slopes or inclines. Well, as you can see right behind me here, this is the incline going up into my front yard from the backyard. Uh, does just fine. I literally take it up, whip it completely around and bring it right back down. I haven't had any problems with slippage. I've even been out the day after it rained and while the grass was still wet, so didn't have any problems with that. Uh, I've used it five times now and I have had no problems whatsoever. I took the initial shoot off of it and put the mulching kit on there. The reason why I took the shoot off was because the the shoot, I was having to hold it up with a bungee cord to get it inside of my, my shed. Well, with the mulching kit on there, it fits right in with no problem. As you can see, it fits right in between the guide wheels on the front, the, ca the caster wheels. Uh, nice 42 inch stamp deck it has guide wheels on each side of it the front coaster wheels are 11 inches tall by 6.5 inches wide they're a nice heavy duty uh, set and when I looked at a lot of the other models their the the front caster tires were narrower uh, and they just didn't look as strong and beefy as these do the rear tires on this girl are 
20 inches tall, 8 inches wide, and they have the turf tread on them. Uh, now, turf tread, of course, you know, is supposed to be able to handle being on grass without tearing it up. But I'm going to tell you right now, one of the problems I have is that when I'm doing the zero turn to come back on my cuts, I will see patches on the ground where it is digging to the dirt during that turn. And that could just simply be for the fact that I'm turning it way too quick or, or the ground's still too wet for it. Uh, either way, it, it, it happens, but you know, it, I'm not really worrying about it. I love the fact that it has a hitch on the back of it so that I can haul my trailer around with it. I've got two of them. I've got the small uh, four foot by three foot uh, standard kind of metal uh, yard trailer that you can get for pulling behind your garden tractors or zero turns. And then I have one that is a homemade trailer that I put together myself and I actually loaded it up with bricks and hauled the bricks from one side of the yard to the other without any problem. This does just fine with it. Uh, we'll see this winter when I put the, the snow plow attachment on the front of it, how it does with that. Hopefully with all the weight being in the back, including my big fat self sitting back here along with the engine and of course the, the nice size frame back here. Uh, hopefully that's gonna be able to give me enough traction. If not, I have uh, chains I can put on the tires to help with the traction. I also can get uh, V-tread tractor style tires to put on it. Uh, all in all, I am extremely happy with it. It has cut my time down to mow my yard by less than half of what I was doing with the Craftsman garden tractor. This I've been very happy with this from start to finish. Uh, you know, the the uh, initially I had a complaint of, I called around and I had to call 13 different stores that said they had these in stock on their website to find out they didn't actually have them in stock. Uh, one that said they had it in stock, the employee actually went and said, yeah, we've got it in stock. Uh, we showed up there to find out that, mm, ah, sorry, we don't have it. Uh, I was pretty upset. Uh, I've got to say that the manager of that store, he went above and beyond, went to the back, checked the warehouse, and said, yeah, we've got two of them in stock, actually. Uh, you're gonna have to give me about 20 to 30 minutes I've got to uncrate it and get it ready for you and that was something that I really liked as compared to the John Deere models for the John Deere models if you purchase one of those and it was still in the crate you had to wait for a John Deere representative to show up uncrate it and put it together for you with the Cub Cadet the only thing that I had to do with this once they uncrated it was put the seat on put gas in it and it was ready to go it came with all the uh, all the other fluids ready to go on it. This mower was out of the box, ready to go for me. Like I said, all I had to do was put the seat on and that worked out great. Sorry, I'm literally getting eat eaten up by mosquitoes out here. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna start her up, let you hear how it sounds and show you the vibration that everyone complains about that I'm not seeing with this. And then I'm gonna shoot it down and back here on my yard a couple times, let you see how it operates. Uh, all in all, I'm very happy with this unit and I think it's done a great job. So let's get her started. They like said you're gonna need to keep your operation handles pushed to the sides, push it all the way to choke, take it to start. <laughs> One complaint I do have that I wish that Cub Cadet would address is the fact that they don't have an hour meter on it. Uh, 
most of your most of your other models that are out there come with an hour meter uh, this does come with a cup holder and it also comes with a storage compartment right behind the cup holder for your cell phone or whatever else you need to sit in there um, didn't have that on my uh, craftsman model I actually had to make my own cup holder and a little storage tray in there to put uh, anything I needed on it uh, otherwise you know it was a good mower it lasted me 12 years I'm looking for many years of operation with this and you should be looking at the same as long as you keep up your maintenance on it make sure you're changing your oil in regular regular intervals uh, if you're using it really excessively you're going to find that you need to change the oil more often than usual now let's also think about this this is not a commercial grade mower this is a residential model this is made for cutting it says to cut up to two acres the problem is is that when you read in the fine print of the specifications for it it says one acre so it's kind of confusing on whether or not it's one or two acres uh, I have just over one acre it does just fine for me uh, I'm mowing generally once a week uh, although with the heavy rains we've been experiencing here in Michigan I've been mowing I've had to mow uh, twice in a week so far uh, you know as we get further into summer and the rain stops we're into the higher temperatures that's that of course is going to cut it down quite a bit on us but like I said all in all I'm very happy with it uh, I think it's a great looking unit and compared to the others I think that the the big 2x2 two two steel frame looks very beefy looks very strong a lot of the other units when you compare them they they look kind of thin they look kind of flexible this does real well um, be careful when one thing it is if your grounds uneven it is going to bounce the daylights out of you um, it's not a very comfortable ride on that something else I did like was the fact that it has this 20 inch high-rise back seat on it um, a lot of people are complaining it doesn't have armrests quite honestly when you're operating it and your arms are out here I, I don't see the need for the armrest um, something that's really nice is that the the control arms are adjustable and you have the uh, you have just two hand turned uh, screws on the sides here and you can adjust them move them forward move them back however you want to do you also have uh, a bolt that goes into on the front here that can adjust how far it goes forward so you can keep them kind of regulated that way um, like I said I found that this has been a very easy to use unit uh, the instructions were very clear um, so you know let's go over a few of the stats before I take her out and more for you like I said this is the Cub Cadet Ultima ZT1 42 inch uh, comes with the Kohler 725 which is a 725 cc 22 horsepower electric start engine it runs off a standard 12 volt battery it has the hydro gear EZT 2200 transmission in it seven miles per hour forward 3.5 five miles per hour in reverse 42 inch deck with the twin blades on it I do have the mulch kit on it and here's something else that I really like about the Cub, Cub Cadet as compared to the other units the Cub Cadet mulch kit was $70 that wasn't on sale that was just a straight-up price $69 and change so with tax it came to $70 the John Deere mulch kit was hundred and forty dollars and it took a lot to put the mulch kit on on the John Deere with the Cub Cadet the great thing was all I had to do was drop the mower deck and it, there's a ton of videos online I'm actually gonna do one myself to show you how easy that is it was really easy it can be done by one person uh, all you have to do you change out the blades and then on the side you're gonna put the cap on for the shoot area and bolt that into place and that's your mulch kit with the John Deere you actually have to put in partitions in there for the mulch kit and then change the blades out on top of it uh, I wasn't real happy with that when I saw that for the Cub Cadet I was happy that I was able to get that set up on it um, price wise this unit was $24.99 2499 dollars and that again was without any kind of uh, discount deal or anything going on with it it's a uh, I just personally couldn't see spending 
I'm on, I'm retired on a fixed income, and I couldn't see spending four and five thousand dollars on a zero term mower to mow less mow just over one acre of property. I just didn't think it was worth it. Uh, I couldn't I couldn't justify the expense. Now, if Cub Cadet, John Deere, or any of you want to send me one to test out, I'll be more than happy to try it. Um, as I said, the um, frame is two by two square square steel. The cut range on it is from one inch to 4.5 inches. And the great thing about that is you have a pedal right here and as I showed you in the walk around videos of it, you can see the pedal up front. You literally push on that pedal that raises the deck. Over here on the side, you have the control for the, the deck for the cut height itself. And it tells you, and it starts off with one inch and it goes all the way up to 4.5 and it does it in 0.5, you know, in half inch increments on each one. Um, as I said, it's a 22 inch, it's a 20 inch high back adjustable seat. Um, this position is perfect for me, and this is the stock position that I put it in. It does have a, just a quick adjust knob on it. Uh, we went over the wheels, which are 11 inches tall by 6.5 inches wide on the front on caster wheels. They have no tread on them. They rear tires are 20 inches tall by 8 inches wide. They have the turf tread on them. Uh, weighs about 500 pounds. There's no hour meter. The parking brake is integrated into the lap bars. It does have the dual LED health headlights. All in all, as I've said many times so far, I'm very happy with this unit and how it works. So thank you for watching. I'm going to get out here, take a couple passes around, let you see how it does. And as always, hit the like, please subscribe. And I keep watching because I'm going to be coming back with more videos. I'm going to show you some videos on how to rebuild carburetors on push mowers, riding mowers, snow blowers, and different things. One of the things I love to do is go out on trash night because amazingly you go out in some of these newer high-end subdivisions and people literally throw away working lawn mowers and snow blowers because they bought a new one. They just throw the old one out in the trash. Well, I, I snatch them up. Sometimes I have to put a wheel on them. Sometimes I have to do some adjustments. But one of the big things I do is I always pull the carburetor off clean and check the carburetor out check the blades sharpen the blades i'm going to do a video on sharpening blades very simple technique and you don't need a whole lot of you don't need fancy tools or anything like that to do it uh, you know other videos i'm going to show you some videos that uh like doing cooking videos show you some videos on welding putting together some of the equipment that i use around my own property also my ford 9n tractor i have a 1941 ford 9n tractor that i love to death and have some videos about operation on it showing you just how the old tractors are remember this tractor is 80 years old and it still fires up and runs like a beast so thanks folks i uh, appreciate you watching this video like i said please Hit that like button, hit the subscribe, leave your comments below. If you've had experiences with the Cub Cadet and you weren't happy with them, by all means, put them in there. My experience will be different than yours and your experience is gonna be different than everyone else's. So, you know, please share your experiences and if you want people to know, put it down in the comments. I'm gonna read all the comments and I will try to, um, you know, respond to each one of them. Please remember, let's be respectful. I mean, there's a lot of people out there that are looking for a zero turn. They're looking for a new mowing option for their property. And, you know, so let's be respectful. Someone may not know the things they need to know about these things. And the whole purpose of these videos is to just be helpful. So, all right, I'm going to move the camera over to here and I'm going to start cutting. So I'll be back with you in just a moment.